All right, welcome back, and it's time for this morning's Community Corner. Maple sugaring season has arrived, and this weekend is your chance oh, yeah. to enjoy it. Coming up in Warren County, a maple festival up at Yonda Farm in Bolton. And joining us this morning to talk about it, Rick Landry, a naturalist there at Yonda Farms. Rick, good morning. Good thanks morning. for coming in. Hey, thanks nice for to having see me. You. Nice so what do we got I appreciate out here? It. Too. Thank you. <laughs> We've gotten out th this clear liquid. Is this what the sap looks like as it's coming out of the tree? Yes, it does. Um, I actually collected a little of this the other day. Oh, wow. Kept it in the fridge, so, you know. Beautiful. Keep it, keep it nice for you guys. But I did bring down a little bit of sap so you could see where we were starting from. And then you could see... I don't know if your cameras can grab that. Yeah, for sure. Let's yeah. pop it maybe right here in front of this. Right there. See yes, the sir. You can color. just drop that right okay, there. Okay, drop that. Yeah. So to give your cameras a shot at just how dark that comes out. So it's, it's really, truly impressive because it goes from crystal clear to kind of this dark amber coloration. If you could see there, Ooh, accidentally pouring a little out. <laughs> Pour it right on the <laughs> table. Man. There we go. Here, that one's his. <laughs> here, we'll set you up with that. And I want you guys to be able to try where it starts and then where it finishes. Yes, sir. And here, you know what? Why don't you go with the full one? That's, okay. This, this is the, really the good stuff. So this is fresh maple sap out of a sugar maple tree. Okay. Um, oh, wow. It doesn't taste all that sweet. It's like really super watery almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the cool thing about this is, and we do mm -hmm. educational programs um, pretty much the entire month of March about maple sugaring. Sure. So, I mean, we've got um, the entire first grade from Big Cross Elementary in Glens Falls there right now. Oh, nice. And those kids are learning about maple sugaring. So they're going through a tour like this. They're actually tasting that sap right off the tree. Now, what do you actually do to the sap to get it, I don't know, condensed down into this, uh, you know, more recognizable pancake friendly form. We evaporate a okay. lot of water. So basically for me to make one gallon, so to make one gallon of maple syrup, I need 40 gallons of sap. Wow. So it takes us probably about eight hours to get through that 40 gallons just to get that kind of evaporated down. And during the process of that, we see a caramelization going on in the yeah. pan and we get this really nice, dark, rich syrup. Oh man, I just so took good. my first sip of the actual finished it's product. It's fantastic, right? Super good. So the season starts towards the end of the winter as we get into spring. I'm curious, what is, what is ideal for you guys? Because it's, and Matt can attest to this, fairly mild winter that we had this year. We had to start early. So typically for us to kind of tap the trees, we need these nights that are below freezing. Okay. And then we need days above freezing. And that causes the sap to come up out of the roots gotcha. of the tree and then start flowing. Hmm. So lately the nights we've had, you know, where they've been kind of a little bit close to freezing, right. it's been a little borderline, but it's like with last night where we got down below freezing and tonight again, we're going to have some really good runs. All right. So you're not concerned. I'm not concerned. Um, All right. We're a three person right educational team up there. <laughs> the only thing I'm concerned about is making sure we've got staff to cover all of the educational programs sure. and to get all of this sap boiled down in gotcha. syrup. All right. Well, tell me a little bit about the Maple Festival coming up Saturday, yes. March 9th. You're excited, right? Oh, I am super excited. This is tomorrow morning. Sure. And if you guys are interested, we've still got tickets left available. Hmm. You can go to upyondafarm.com and tickets are $5 per person. Not too shabby. Nope. And what that does is that gets you a nice 45 minute to one hour tour and we take you through the history of maple sugaring so we take a look at how the Native Americans did this and some of the tools they used. We'll go through, you'll learn how to tap a tree, you'll try sap straight off the tree so not uh, my bottled up stuff that I there brought you down. Go. <laughs> um, we'll walk along our sugar trail through our lower sugar bush which is um, just about 13 uh, sugar maples that have been tapped and make it up to our sugar house where you can just have a nice maple sauna. Okay, very cool. And this maple is maple sauna up yonder hey. farm, Warren County, kind of out by like Cat and Thomas Mountains, yeah. the Bolton Landing area. Yeah, I mean we're a mile north of Bolton Landing, and the nice thing is um, our tour finishes off. So you're gonna taste, you're gonna taste some sap, you're gonna taste some syrup. But what we did, we partnered up with um, Valley Road Maple out of sure. Thurman, and we got. Let's see, golden, amber, and dark. So we've got the dark syrup, like oh, what we make. But you're gonna do a side by side flight oh, nice. to taste through and we did set up so and we do have uh, some French toast sticks set up to try along with that <laughs> but every it. but we've got a lot of all the businesses in Bolton are open tomorrow there's still a lot going on so I mean you could make a full day of coming to up yonder farm and checking out our maple festival and then spend the day in Bolton there and check out what's going on around Lake George weather going to cooperate? I think so. Uh, well, in the morning. Right. It'll be dry in the morning. Rain in the evening. If you're looking for tickets, we'll have a link posted for you on news10.com. Rick, thanks so much for coming in. Syrup's delicious. We're back right after a quick break.